Go Wilder Fury break break final breakdown. I know you got to go, but let's, let's final breakdown. Which what, what you got? You know what? Um, it just depends, honestly. Uh, typically, when you have a boxer and a puncher, typically, man, history says that the boxer should be able to win. Mm. It's, it's true. The boxer should be able to win. He he has more. Um, he knows how to make adjustments. Um, he can fight on the inside and box on the outside. You know, use his angles, Fury's like that. Got that herky jerky style. He's quick. He's very elusive. Hard to hit. Um, there's a lot more tools to him to get the, get the job done. And as far as Deontay Wilder goes, I think that I think that we look at him. We look at his technique. We look at his style, and we say, uh, how is he doing what he's doing? I know he has tremendous punching power, but. I always tell people all the time, like the way he the, the way he's able to do that is because you gotta have an IQ. He has an IQ, above average IQ, and he don't get a lot of credit for it mm. because we look at his style and we say we it's not it's not what we're used to. It's not what we're accustomed to. It's different. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm not gonna lie, I was I was I wasn't high on him at first. I was just like, ah, he's it's not traditional. He's not what I normally see. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and let me give you an example. It's like the old school trainers didn't lift weights. That's what they believe. And then you got the new school trainers that integrate weights and do different training and, and strength training and things like that. So it's like you got to cross over, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You got to understand what this man is doing and what he's and how he's done it. He has that transportation system. You know what I'm saying? He knows how to get himself in position. He knows how to blind you. He knows how to, you know, keep his distance to be able to land that shot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that takes this IQ. There you go. He just ain't in there just uh, swinging wild. No. He swings wild most of the time when he hurts you. you. You know what I'm saying? Because he gets over anxious and he yeah. gets, you know, uh, the adrenaline just keeps, you know, pumping through his blood and he's, he's trying to attack you. Yeah. And he's trying to stop you. Correct. So, um... I just see a very technical fight in the beginning. Found out today that both these guys weren't 100% in their first fight. Um, you know, they gave us, they gave me some excuses on why they weren't 100%. Fury said he had the worst camp of his life uh, during, that, during that time. Um, Wilder hurt his right hand. I think this time it's going to be a lot more technical. No excuses, yeah. Yeah, no excuses because they both had great camps. I talked to them today. They both had fantastic camps. Uh, and I think it's going to heat up midway point. It's going to have yeah. to heat up. But I see Fury doing what Fury does. If he tries to get inside, it could be dangerous. Uh, but if he does, he probably will have some success. But he's still got to worry about those clubs coming from yeah. Wilder. It's not just the right hand, my man. Oh. He got every punch. He can throw the hook. He can throw the body shots. He got the jab. And now the people don't really realize that he out-jabbed Tyson Fury in that first fight. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize that. Exactly. Okay. Just to, you know, you mentioned about the IQ. I want to make this a two-part. You know, I know that winning this fight for this heavyweight is declared number one. Um, for another heavyweight fight that's going to be in the works is Andy Ruiz and Luis Ortiz. We know both of them have some good wins and some couple of recent losses. Do you think they could get back in the mix in, heavy, in the heavyweight division, like the winner of uh, Wilder and Fury? And part two, what changes does Andrew Reese have to make? Because we know that throughout your whole career, I don't care what anybody says, you always stick in every training camp serious. You put your body on line just to be in the ring and to provide for your family. You always give your, your all. And I think. Every day. Mm. Andrew Ruiz, you looking at this video, man? Got to get your head right. Mm. It's all discipline, my man. You got a ton of skills, a ton of skills, man. A ton of ability, great punching power. Um, you know, you had the world on your shoulders, my man. And you know, now you got to earn all that back. And so you got to get serious. You got to get focused mm. and um, be dialed in, and you know, make whatever changes that you need, you know, yeah. necessary, so that way you can be great. Um, He's looking for a new trainer. I mean, he's looking maybe possibly making excuses. I, I, I thought that Manny Robles yeah. did great by him. Uh, I know Manny Robles. He's a strict guy. Uh, all boils down to you, man. You got to look in the mirror and it's what you want, Andy. Yeah. That's what it's what you want. Yeah, the, they were, honestly. They were mentioning Teddy Atlas. I mean, I don't want to. I don't know the history between you guys, but if you can't come between 
if, if that that relationship could work, it could be cohesive between him and Atlas. Well, Atlas, Atlas will bring the discipline out okay. of him, um, but he got to be willing to to go through that. Mm. He will. Atlas is no joke. Okay. You know, he bring he's gonna bring the intensity. He's gonna test you mentally and physically. Uh, he's gonna learn a lot of new things. Um, you know, Atlas would be would be one of the guys that that could get him focused and disciplined uh, because he he expects 100 110 percent wow. absolutely 110 percent and he won't work with you if you're not willing to give him 110 percent. He will not work with you. Yeah. So uh, Andy better you know if he's gonna do go that route, it's not gonna be any slip ups. You're gonna do everything perfect with Atlas. Everything perfect. He requires excellence. Wow. Excellence. All right. I'm letting him know that right now. So, but it's all here, Andy. It's how bad you want it. Look, look at yourself in the mirror. You got the money now. You got the big old house. You got the cars. I, hey, that can come and that also can go. There you go. Yeah, yeah. It can come and then go. And it goes real fast. So, that's all I'm going to tell you. There you go. Last, I'll let you go with this. I know you said to the reporters, I overheard it, you said you were like Manny Pacquiao to fight Sean Porter. I, I personally wanted to want him to go that Danny Garcia route, but that's a dangerous fight. Manny Pacquiao and Sean Porter, won't you, won't you say? Out of all the welterweights right now, w w besides Spence, don't you think that that's something dangerous for Pacquiao? At Pacquiao this? wanna be in the mix. Pacquiao, Pacquiao is a legend. Pacquiao has been here a long time. Okay. Uh, yeah, can Pacquiao cherry pick or do it? Yeah, he can, but if he wants to put on a great show and, and have a great fight, which Pacquiao always wants to put on, why not fight a guy like Sean Porter? A guy that's really humble just like he is, a guy that, that's a workhorse just like he is, uh, a guy that's not going to run, he's not going to go anywhere. He's going to be right in your face all night long, so you ain't got to look for him. He's going to be an easy guy to hit, you know what I'm saying? So for Pacquiao with the speed and everything, uh, I just think it's a great, great, contra you know, great compelling style where they, they gonna, it's gonna go head to head. It's gonna be explosive. These guys yeah. are gonna, yeah, they gonna take each other out. Somebody gonna, somebody gonna go. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Somebody is gonna go in that type of fight. So mm -hmm. that's what I believe. But you know, uh, another fight, I think Conor McGregor or something like that. Why not? Mm -hmm. Why not go ahead and knock out Conor McGregor? <laughs> Thank you for your time, Tim. Thank Always you. a pleasure.